Hi, Frankie. Hello. Get in there. <laughs> Nothing like that first drink of the day. Go on, drink up, enjoy. <laughs> hey, what you doing, what, huh? <laughs> hey, they tell me you're some dancer. Well, uh, how about a little dance anyway? No? When'd you get back? How are you? You all right? You know, the monkey's gone. Let me look at you. Let me look at you. Yeah. Not even a postcard. card. You can't read anyway. Well, you could have drawn pictures. Hey, you goofy punk. How's the lost dog business? Yeah. As soon as they see me hanging around, people start locking up their mutts. I tell you, folks just don't have that trust in their fellow man anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, Yantic, look who's out. Frankie. You all right? Clean? Yep. Good kid. Enough already. Buy me a drink. Sure. Uh, look what the cat dragged in. Thank you, honey. You're gone so long, I thought maybe you was made for it. Hey, you're looking good, dealer. Put on six pounds. Wow, six pounds. He's gone so long, I thought maybe he's made more. How was it down there, Frankie? Greatest place you ever see, Bansy. She means Lexington. I'm telling you. Ball games, great food. I even learned how to play the drums. Yeah. You make it sound as if I missed something by not going to jail years ago. It's a prison, no? More hospital kind. Let me show you something. Ah, federal pens is always best. Ask anybody. Well, I know. He's gone so long, I think he's made for it. Ever see anything so pretty? Don't touch. Hey, how'd you sneak him out, Frankie? The guys give me him up there in the band. They let you have a band? Yeah, I was in it. And they chipped in and bought me these when I left. Wow. Long time deal. How was it there? Bad, huh? It was all right. Six months. You can hardly wait, I bet. Come over my place. Come. Oh, thanks, Louis. You broke? Well, now, ain't you being stupid? It's for free. I don't need it as all. I kicked it. Oh. Kicked it? One of that. I mean it. Sure. Be around. Frankie, don't do it. Don't start up with that peddler again. Me? I'd rather chop my arm off before I let him touch it. It's Dr. Lennox who took care of me down at the hospital. Real good guy. He told me at least ten times. He said, Frankie, when you get out of here, you take even one fix, you're hooked again. Don't worry about me, buddy boy. Let's get out of here. Thanks, Antic. Antic, take care of this asset for me. I got a customer coming to get it. Okay, Sarah. Don't let him give you no gas. Him? I ain't gonna be around here long enough to let him bother me. I'm gonna get me a job in a big name band. You're kidding. What do you think I'm strengthening my wrist for, buddy Oh. Guy teaches me drumming down there, says that I'm a natural. Can't miss, he says. Arms made of pure gold. You mean a job wanging these drums? I got everything planned, too. I'm gonna call myself Jack Duval. Probably I ain't gonna see you around so much then, huh? Yeah, maybe I can set something up for you. Carry any instruments or something. Wow! Traveling around the country, high-type nightclubs. 
How's that sound to you, punk? When is it gonna be? When? Right away, today. I'm the kind of guy, boy, when I move, watch my smoke. But I'm gonna need some good clothes, though. Oh, well, you go on up. I'm gonna find you some. Yeah, yeah. Size 39, get. 39. Stripes. Stripes. Something nice. <laughs> Or something. It's real nice, Sasha. How are you, Frankie? I'm clean. Sure. I kicked it for keeps. Did it hurt? How was it there for you? Oh, they treated me fine down there. There was this doctor, this Dr. Lennox. He was real good to me. What kind of silly question is that? Of course I missed you. <laughs> Honest, no kidding. What do you got there? You'll see. Oh, I brought you something. Oh, oh, it's an exquisite thing. You like it? I made it myself out of cigarette wrappers. It's just an exquisite thing, is all. You made it? Yeah, for a hobby like. See, part of the cure is to keep yourself busy doing things you enjoy. Like, for instance, I wanted to learn the drum and music, and Dr. Lennox got him to help me do it. During the day, I was kept busy enough, but sometimes at night, I get restless, I wanted to keep my mind off the craving. I made that. There's something important I gotta tell you. What? I forget right now. A whistle? Oh, I was scared sometimes being alone. So if I got it for me, I should blow for her when I wanted it. Go on, you were telling me. Oh, well, the first thing you do when you get there, you talk to a doctor for about two hours. Oh, I know. I know what it is. I know what I had to tell you. Vi took me to this movie, and the girl's kid brother had a friend in it. Now, who do you think he looked like? Who? You! Uh, oh, it's a good movie. The stage show was real good, too. We owe Vi 80 cents for the movie I was broke. And we owe her for the cake, too. 
How come he didn't have any money? Schwicker didn't kick in regular? No. Well, he was supposed to. It was his joint they raided, not mine. I was just a dealer. I kept my mouth shut and took the rap. If he didn't send 50 a month regular, how much did he? Well, he sent 50, but not regular. You see, Vi had to kick in for me sometimes. She took good care of you? Had fun with her? Yeah. But not like when you're here. It was terrible being alone, Frankie. And my legs, when they hurt, she don't massage like you when they hurt. What do they say by the clinic, Sash? I stopped going by that goofy clinic. The clinic must know what's right, Sash. You gotta start the clinic again. You gotta get well. If I dreamed of this new doctor around the corner, he cured me. I'd have gone to him already, but he ain't free like the clinic. But now you're back making money again by Shwitka, I'll go. I'm finished with Shwitka. I don't deal for him no more. But you always deal. You're a dealer. You're the best dealer in the business. No more. I'm a drummer now. <sighs> don't make jokes, Frankie. I never know when you're making jokes. I was joking, Zosh. Listen. Nice, huh? This Dr. Lennox, I told him my whole life story. From when I was born, almost. And about you and me. But he told me that if I lived when I got out, like I lived before I went in there, chances are I would be hooked again in no time. So that's why I want to get with a band. Listen. How's that? What to tell him about me, this doctor? Well, I told him about getting some money and getting you well. And he said getting with a band was a good way to go at it. He even gave me the name of a guy in town right here to get a job. That's nice. I mean, if this man with a job ever heard of this great doctor, most times these things just don't come through. I got this. What is it? It's a letter from the doc. I think I'll go call him now. Now? Let's talk about it tomorrow. I'll be right up, Zosh. You ain't even tasted the cake. It'll only be a minute. I'll be right up. No, no, Frankie. First, taste a piece of nice cake. Hey, you coming, baby? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, John. Hey, Molly. Yeah, I'm coming, John. I want to talk to Mr. Harry Lane, please. How about it, huh? Machine, Frankie Machine. Yeah, I got a letter of introduction for him from Dr. Lennox. Yeah. Hello, Frankie. Dr. Martin Lennox. How you been, Molly? All right. Come on, baby, let's go. Yeah, I'm yeah. coming, John. But God, that way you was away. Mr. Lane, I got a letter for you, yeah. Come on, what do you say, kid? It's afternoon, huh? Well, gee, I sure do appreciate it, Mr. Lane. Thank you so much. Okay, goodbye. Frankie! A new thing by Brack's department store. No sales girls. You just help yourself. It's what they call an honor system. What's the matter, Frankie? Feel that material. And I figured, as long as I'm there... <coughs> nice, huh? You all right? Frankie. I got the drumming job. I'm ready. Wow. When I move, I move like a street punk. Think it looks all right, Sash? How come you ask me all of a sudden? I just want to know if it looks all right, Sash. My name ain't Sash, it's Sophia. What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. Except how would you feel if your spine was hurting? Why don't you say so? 
On account of your first day back, I, I, I just didn't want you should worry. Don't be like that, Sash. Is it bad? Well, maybe the new doctor do me some good, huh? We'll go see him when I get back. Well, take me now, Vic. Sash, you, I got this appointment. You know how much it means to me. Huh? We'll go as soon as I get back. Please. Frankie. I'll hurry. I'll hurry. Frankie. Well, give me a little more massage then first, huh? Sash. I'm doing this for you to get some money so you can get a good doctor. Oh, please, Frankie. Look, I'll get your dog, too. How's that, huh? Get a dog, will you? I'll give the matter my personal attention. Just have confidence in the management. Wish me luck, Sash. Be two places at once. What could I do? Yeah, she just don't realize. Oh, shut up, punch. She just don't realize. How would you like to be nailed to a chair? Frankie, Frankie, how are you? Answer. Well, it didn't do you no harm, did it, Frankie? Oh, you look good. That's right, Schwiefke. It was a real country club. Hmm. They give you this when they let you out? Give them nothing. I borrow up my brax. You know, I'd come as soon as I hear you're out. I figured he's worried about getting his job again. Tell him, don't worry. Sweep could don't forget so quick. Job's waiting. You need a dealer, you say? Need? No. <laughs> I've been dealing myself, and man, I built up a game like nobody's business. I got a great following. The play is bigger than ever. I hear you wasn't doing so good. From who? When I say great, I don't mean a lot. A few, but loaded. So what do you want me for? Like I'm telling you, I take care of my friends. Can I polish your halo, Sweep? Go only a quarter. Knock it off, punk. Look, I've been doing all right, but I don't say that the customers like me better than they like you. The dealer makes the house. I know that. What do you say? No. You're dealing for some other joint. I ain't dealing for nobody. I ain't dealing for nobody no more. Is that the way you repay me? Didn't I send money to Zosh? Yeah, I've gone and told all my friends that you'll be working for me again. What am I supposed to do? As far as I'm concerned, you can go back to matching pennies with school kids. <laughs> hey, Antek. Antek! Who is he? Drunky? His name's Johnny something. He's houseman for Gubachek's pool room. Is that a thing with him? They see each other. You want to meet them? Oh. So long, Antec. See you, Frankie. Hey, you. Get in, dealer. Who, me? What for? You too, punk. I didn't do nothing. Now, wait a minute, Barbara. Listen, I'm on my way to get a job. It's important to me. Yes. You can pick me up some other time. I just need an hour. Be a good guy, will you? Shut up. What are you talking, Clark? Are you looking to get sued for libel or something? I could sue you right now. You're looking good, dealer. Real good. When they let you out. Monday they let me out. What's the charge, Parker? Shoplifting by Brax. This suit. Who told you a thing like that? Little bird. Little bird with a cigar. Shrivka. That all you could stay out of trouble. Two days, dealer, dealer. Listen, Benton, I got a chance for a job playing with a band. Honest, if you don't believe me, call the guy on the phone. He'll tell you. Well, just give me a half hour, please. Sure, you can wear my badge, too. Book him and hold the suit. Look, all I need is a half hour. Give me a break, will you? I don't make the rules, dealer. Hey, Lonnie. Yeah, you can. 
hair folding. I'm running capable. I ain't smart enough to be running around loose, but I'm too goofy to be locked up. To Nick, will you let go to Nick? I got a complaint. To let me. go to Nick. Hey, you. I'm talking to you. Oh, the old silent treatment, huh? All right, let's have your number, fella. I'll show you can't give me the business. Your goose is cooked, copper. Frankie, you got a cigarette? Do a cigarette trip. You know, just to break the dirty monotony. Wow. Leon. Hello, dealer. I come running as soon as I heard. You want I should get you out, dealer? You think? The store will drop the charges. But 37 bucks a lot of dough. How do I know you'd pay me back? You think? <laughs> 